Now that we have our GUI texture in place, let's move on and write a little script for this. In a script folder, let's create a new script file and let's call it player. Since health has everything to do with the player in this case. And what we need to do is add the ability to switch between images. So to do this, let's create a couple variables. First one would be H00 when our health is totally zero. And this refers to our texture. And then of course we need to copy paste this a couple times to go all the way up to 80. So and then we need to change its names and one more for number 80 alright then we need a health variable which will make static so we can access it from other scripts as well let's do that in capitals and by default start it off with an amount of 80 then we need our update function and inside of our update function we'll check what our health currently is and then cross-reference it with what image we're going to use so in this case let's first define our path to the GUI texture Perfect, and then from there we can check what the current state of our health is. Now let's start off with uh, the first one, 80, and that means we're basically we have more than 70 in health. Okay, so if we have that, we can change the texture. So that goes by saying g underscore health, the variable that we have defined here and then we need to change its texture which is relatively easy to do just type GUI texture dot texture which refers to the image file and then we can set it to the variable that we have defined up top the H80 now if this is the case then we can simply return out of the update function because that's all the update function does right now if it's not then of course we need an else if and in the else we can uh, check if our health is now higher than 60 and it will count down like this so we can copy this piece of code change it to our 70 and then we need to copy paste this basically a couple times and then change its variables to in this case 50 and 60, 40, and 50, 30, and 40, 20, and 30, 10, and 20. And after we have reached the 10 mark, it gets a little more interesting. We um, can for example continue and say 5 because that would still be reasonable and then change this of course to the 10 and then for the last one let's paste it one more time we need to check if we have health left above 0 so let's change that to health would be smaller than or equal to 0 and then for the 5 it can pretty much stay the same so then we change it to zero and this should do the trick for us